Hi, in this video I'll be talking about two products today, both from the brand Reticas. The first one is this one, which is the TR631. This is a digital radio with a CD player combined, and this is a, an FM AM radio, and this is the model TR604. And what I want to do today is first of all get them unboxed, show you the products, give you a quick demonstration, and see what they're all about. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. So as this is the nearest one to me, let's have a look at the TR631 first of all. I must admit, I always like unboxing these kind of products on the video. Uh, I've, I've not had a look first of all, so I've not seen what it's all about. So it's normally easier and safer to open these kind of things upside down like that. Uh, you will notice that a good portion of the packaging is recyclable. Uh, I know the it, it's always nice to see brown cardboard boxes. I know that's fully recyclable. Uh, I do understand why manufacturers use these. Uh, in one of the other videos I, I did, the manufacturer got back to me because what I'd done is I'd mentioned about the amount of polystyrene in the packaging, and clearly they were they commented that the their number one priority is for the product to arrive safely, and that's really why this has been used. This is like a, a foam insert. So what you don't want to do is, you know, it's not in the manufacturer's interest to come up with fully recyclable packaging and then for the products to arrive damaged. So I fully understand why they're using some of this packaging. Anyway, that's the first impression of it. Uh, let's just tail that off. I've just got a little bit of the sticky transit tape on there, uh, but that's the that's the TR six three one. Must say it looks looks quite smart. It's quite a nice gloss black finish on the top there. Uh, that's where you put the the CD in the top. So first of all, I always think it's quite important to have a quick measure. Uh, so as far as the width, you're looking around thirty two centimeters, around twelve and a half inches. The depth of it, so front to back. Uh, to the very back of it, because you've got the aerial as well, then you look around 20 centimeters or just under 8 inches, and then the height of it at the highest point. So let's just have a quick measure there. Uh, we're looking around around 15 centimeters, uh, or that's sort of around 6 inches. So I always think it's important to just have a quick measure, because what you don't want to do, if, if that's going to be sat on a desk or a worktop somewhere, you just want to make sure that it's going to fit in the place. Uh, so you can see you've got a little a cheeky little carrying handle on top. Uh, as far as the power to it, you've got a couple of options. You've got the one option, which is the mains lead, so you can power it via that. I'm just going to plug it in in a moment. Uh, the other option is that you can actually use batteries. And I suppose for some people, if you wanted to plug it in, to just leave it in a standard place. So if you had a certain place in your, say on a desk somewhere, then I ideally recommend using the, just use the mains lead, as long as you've got a main socket nearby, obviously. Uh, the other option is you can take the flap off and you've got access to where the batteries are kept. And in here, you've got six batteries of the C size, uh, also known as the LR14s uh, or LM2. There's quite a few different variations of it. Uh, but that's that's where you can put the batteries if you want to. I think most people tend to use the mains now, uh, especially if you're just going to be in a, a standard place. Uh, you've got the aerial on the back, so that will extend up. Uh, but that's quite important if you're going to try and get a good signal. Where I am at the moment, the signal is, is okay. Uh, I must admit I've, I've tried other digital radios and the reception can be a little bit patchy. But I think really what I want to do is to get this plugged in now. So, uh, I know some people are probably thinking, why am I talking about these kind of products? Uh, so, you know, it's quite a, it's quite a, um, an older style product, I will be honest. Um, but I think what's happened over the last probably three or four years, quite a few brands, uh, some of the major brands across the world, have stopped making this kind of product. They think that there isn't a demand for this. Uh, personally, I don't agree. I think there is still a demand. People still listen to CDs. Uh, they just want a standalone radio 
whether it's DAB or analog. Um, and I think some of the major manufacturers are, are missing out on a portion of the market. Not everybody wants to stream music through the phones or tablets or laptops, whatever. I've just zoomed in a little bit closer to hopefully make it a bit easier for you to see. Uh, you'll notice that you've got a nice clear white LED display. I must admit, I really like that. It's a nice clear, uh, not too big display, but when you, if you want to set the clock, what you need to do is press the menu button and we will just toggle over here, time and date. So set the time and date and we're going to, so let's just have a, I must admit, I need to have a quick look at what the date is. So it's the 24th. Uh, let's go this way. So 24th of February. There we are. And 2023. And the time at the moment. So it's quite late in the afternoon. So it is, what are we? 4.35. Should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? So four. I'll get there in a moment. Again, I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? 35. And there we go. So that's just confirming that. And if I press the menu button again, then that's just showing the, the time and the date on the display. And that's actually switched off at the moment. Uh, if you want to switch it on, then just press the, the button on the left hand side. So you've got different options. Uh, first of all, you've got the Bluetooth. So if you have got a device that you wanted to connect up to it, say a phone or tablet, then you can do that. Uh, then you've got auxiliary mode, DAB, that's the digital radio, FM, analog radio, CD, and the USB as well. So if you have got some music stored on a USB stick, then that just gets put in the side there. Uh, you've got the auxiliary connection. Also you've got the headphone jack as well. That's a three and a half mil connection. And then from there, that just goes back to the Bluetooth mode. Uh, really what I want to do is let's just have a look at the DAB mode. And from there, so it's just saying no station at the moment, nothing has been set on there. But from there, if I press and hold that button, the pairing or the scan button, then what that will do is that will just normally take a couple of minutes to go through and find some stations, hopefully. Uh, I've fully extended the aerial. Uh, as I say, the reception area where I am is average, so it might not pick up all of the stations available within the area. Uh, but at the moment that's showing that, well, at the moment it's picked up 29 stations. So that's, that's really impressive actually. Because, uh, as I say, I've tried um, another digital radio uh, that was actually a lot more expensive than this, and it didn't pick up that many stations. But uh, all I do is I'll just give it a give another moment. Um, you've got the, the scanning bar across the side here, and that's just a, like a progress indicator, just to show you what or whereabouts it is. And that's it. So that's done. That was really quick, actually. Uh, this is one of the, so it's got uh, a scrolling display on the front here. Uh, quite a lot of digital radios have this, which is really good. And that's just showing the, uh, the, the radio station and also the music that's on at the moment. So we just turn this up. Whatever you want, whenever you want it. So that's, that's very good, actually. So yeah, I'm uh, very impressed with the sound quality. Uh, several other features this has got, which are really useful. First of all, it's got a sleep timer function, so it can turn off after a certain time. For example, if you were, uh, say, in bed, if you wanted some music on for, say, 30 minutes, you set 30 minutes and then it will turn off on its own. The other way, you can use it as an alarm function as well. So if you wanted to wake up to music, the beauty of this device is that you've got that as well. As well as playing normal CDs on here, you've also got the option to play MP3, WMA, AAC, CDR, and CDRW discs as well. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the TR631. 
uh, what I want to do now is to have a look at the other model. So we'll just get that one put to the side. There we go. Make way for the TR604. Now this one is a little bit more basic. Uh, I've had a, a quick read up on this. And this is a, an analog radio. So again, packaging. This one has got polystyrene in it. But as I mentioned earlier, I do understand why manufacturers will use this kind of packaging. So first impression, it's a bog stand radio. Uh, it's, I must admit, I really like the look of that. I, I actually prefer the matte finish compared to the gloss finish on the other one. Uh, but for, for some people, this is really all you want. Uh, you've got the option on here, so you can plug it in, or on this one again, you can, you can uh, use batteries. So it's the same thing. You've got the one and a half volt R20 batteries on here. Uh, this one takes three batteries, and that's just on the back there. I've just taken the, the back panel off. And then once you've got the batteries in, all you do is you just clip that back into place. Uh, you will find that the, the mains lead is actually the same. So what I'll do is I'll just plug it in using that lead. There we go, rather than unraveling the, the other lead. Uh, but what I want to do, wherever I put the tape measure, there we go, moved it out of the way. So let's just have a quick measure first. So the dimensions, so the width of it, you're looking around 22 and a half centimeters or just under nine inches. The height of it, uh, that is 15 centimeters. Or if you were to put the handle up, then that's around 20 centimeters or just around eight inches. And the depth, so front to back, if you're ignoring the mains lead, then you're looking around seven and a half centimeters or around three inches. If you were to include the mains lead, then you'd need to go quite a bit further back. You're going to be looking around 13 and a half centimeters or around five and a half inches because the way that the mains lead is and curls round, then that increases the depth of it quite a lot. Uh, also on here, you have got the aerial that fully extends. Uh, but I think what we need to do is to turn it on. So that's the on and off dial is the volume control as well. Uh, but once you've turned that on, then I forgot to do something. Forgot to put the switch on. It's normally quite quite an important feature that to switch it on. Uh, but you've got the two options on here. So you've got FM and AM. So there's no digital on this one. Not like the first one we looked at. Uh, you have got the high and the low setting. You've got the different tone settings. Uh, but what I need to do is to get the dial down the side here and all you need to do is you just need to find the station you want just using the dial and then that stays as is. So there's no presets or anything on this model. I think most of the time people just tend to use, just turn that down a moment, most of the people tend to listen to a radio station. You might have a couple that you listen to uh, but I think for for some people, if you just listen to a radio station, then having presets isn't really an advantage. Uh, but all I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this up. Because it's generating those ideas and being able to ensure that those ideas were, were put down on paper. So his palliative care team, I guess, would be trying. So I know it's not music, that was someone talking, but I must admit, from the, that genuinely is the first time I've, I've listened to that. Um, I've, I've not unboxed it first of all, just see what it was like. Uh, but I'm really impressed considering the size of the radio. A couple of other things to mention. First of all, it has got the headphone jack in the side. And same as the other model, it's a three and a half mil jack, which is quite standard with the majority of headphones. Uh, also, it does come in two colors. So it either comes in the black or silver. Um, what I have done is I have provided a couple of links below. So if you are interested in either of these models, then I will just, just get the other one back. So all I wanted to do was to give you a quick, I suppose, a quick demonstration, just a, a quick review of both of them. Uh, I must admit, I'm really impressed. And as I've mentioned earlier, 
um, these are not for everyone. You know, some people are uh, into streaming music, and you know, if you wanted to, there you are, just get the packaging out of the way. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, some people are into streaming the music and using different type of speakers around the house. That's fine. There are some people that are not into that, and there is still a market for these kind of products. Uh, but as I say, all I really wanted to do was to go through them, quick demonstration, quick overview of what they do. And if you're interested in buying them, then I'll provide a link below to show you where to get them at competitive prices. Hope you enjoy this quick video on the Reticus two models here. So first of all, we've got the TR604 on the right here, and then we've got the TR631. Just, yeah, that's it, TR631. Uh, I've done that from memory. If you follow me on YouTube for a while, then you'll realize that some of the model numbers I talk about can be really confusing. So all I want to do is thank Reticus for making these two models with really easy model numbers to remember. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. All I'd say is I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, leave any comments below. If you've got any questions on these, then I've got these at home uh, forever now. Uh, and if you've got any questions, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, just let me know what you think about it, because if you follow the Amazon links, then you'll see that the overall numbers that they're selling are actually a lot, so I'm really impressed. But if you got one of these, let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.